if A and B are 180 degrees apart, then how can my rotary phase converter make power that's 120 degrees apart? I put out a video showing my rotary phase converter setup where I take 220 household power and create three phase power with it. And then I did a follow-up video explaining how it works. And the most common question I get is how can we take two legs of 120 volt that are 180 degrees apart and create three phase power that's 120 degrees apart? When we're talking about 220 volt household power, we have two legs of 120 volt and those are AC sine waves. So the blue line represents L1 and the red line represents L2. And this is what we mean when we say that they're 180 degrees apart. Then if we go back to the video where I explained how three phase motors rotate, we know that the three legs are 120 degrees apart. And we're gonna feed our household power in from L1 and L2 onto two of them. And as that motor rotates around that magnetic field, it is gonna generate this third leg. I'm gonna plug this in, and right now I'm just holding this, and you see they all say about 190. And if I go up to the leg to leg, they all show roughly 110. But the issue is this isn't actually rotating, so it's not creating a magnetic field to do anything. So this is just really back feeding on to that third leg. Now I'm gonna give it a little spin just to get that third leg going. I have 112 here, which is a real leg. I have 112 here, which is a real leg. And I have 156, which is that artificial leg. Also, all my voltages are a little low compared to typical because I'm running this through a transformer here and I'm using a really cute three-phase motor because it's freezing outside. The peak of this third leg is when L1 and L2 are at their lowest. If we take our typical 120 volt household power and we add that third leg to it, then we're gonna end up with this graph. And just like many of you've commented, that artificial leg to neutral is much higher than the two real legs, and it is offset from them. But remember, this is with respect to neutral. But when we measure three-phase power, such as going to a motor, we don't measure to neutral. In fact, it rarely has a neutral. Now, a lot of you say, well, we do measure to ground to make sure it has either 120 or 277. Well, okay, maybe, but if we wanna know if that motor should be turning to do some work, we're gonna measure from L1 to L2, L2 to L3, and L1 to L3. And I know I usually don't get into math on this channel, but here are the calculations for figuring out the L1 and the L2 sine wave to neutral and that artificial third leg with respect to neutral. But if you're measuring from L1 to L2, L2 to L3, and L1 to L3, then we're gonna subtract those and we're gonna come up with these numbers right here. And that is gonna give us this graph right here, which is three legs of power 120 degrees apart. A fellow YouTuber, Cloud42, put out a similar video that really nails down the visuals of how this works. And I know for some of you, seeing is believing, and he also put a three-phase scope onto his rotary phase converter. So I've made this playlist right here with that video and some other videos to help you with your rotary phase setup.